Let me draw a net of a solid. This is a net of a solid in which all six faces are squares. Given the solid, we have seen how its net can be drawn. But here, we are given the net and we have been asked to find the solid it represents. How do we solve this? Again, it requires a little bit of imagination. The best way would be to draw this net in a three-dimensional way as if it's lying on a plane. Let's zoom out and start with these four faces first. For it to seem as if they are lying on a plane, we can draw them a bit like this. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now it seems as if they are lying on a plane. Now on top of the second face, we have another face. So we draw that square face like this above the second one. And there is a square face attached to the third square face. This face at the bottom will be drawn under the third face. Clearly seems as if the net is lying on a plane and it gives us a much better idea about how the net can be folded to form a solid. How do we start modifying the net? To start off, we can fold these two faces inside and make them vertical. How will it look when that's done? Let's draw the modified figure on the right. We draw these three faces as is and these two are made to stand erect. This face when made vertical will look like this. Yes, now it seems as if this face is vertical and these three are lying on a plane. And how will this square face look when it's erect? Like this. And what about this face? Let's keep it as is for now. Now let's try to make these two faces vertical. Now pause the video and try to draw the figure that you will see when these two faces are made vertical. Or at least try drawing it mentally in your head. Okay, let's see how it will look. These two faces will still lie on the plane. So we draw these two faces first. These two faces which are erect can be drawn as is. Like this and like this. And now we make these ones vertical. This face when straightened will look like this. And this one when straightened will look like this. This is the shape we have arrived at after making these four faces vertical. Now if we just rotate this section towards the left, can you tell me what solid we will get? Yes, we will get a cube. A cube which will look like this. Remember, all the faces were squares and the net was folded in such a way that we got a cube. So here we converted a net to its solid. Here's another simple example for you to try out. This is the net given to us. A square with four congruent isosceles triangles, each attached to one of its sides. What solid shape can we form out of it? Pause the video and try to draw this figure as if it's on a plane. Okay, so how about we draw the square first? To show that it lies on a plane, it can be drawn like this. These four triangles will also lie on the same plane. Triangle 1, Triangle 2, Triangle 3 and Triangle 4. We have just tilted this to make it lie on a plane. And now it becomes much easier for us to think of the solid that can be formed out of this net. We just have to rotate each triangle such that all the top vertices meet at a single point. What we get is a square pyramid. A square as the base and four triangles as its faces. Is it always this easy to convert nets to solids? We will see an interesting example next.